Portia here with Stitch Story. So I want to show you guys what I am going to buy today. It all started here on Facebook. I came across this awesome pattern that was posted by Expression Fiber Art Arts. I really am digging the colors here. You see the, well, let's take a closer look. You see the, what is it, blues and the purples. This is so awesome. I really love this cow that they have here. Looks like it's knit one pearl one. I see some seed stitch in here. So it's actually a free pattern. Looks like it was posted back in December, but I don't care. I gotta have it. I love the color mixture together. And I, I love the way that the, the pattern seems to be isolating the different colors. So I, this is just great this is some of my very favorite color combinations here so let's go ahead and order this so we're going to go to the expressions fiber arts website okay so this is a fingering yarn oh now you can see the colors a little bit better so it's i was thinking when i first saw it i was thinking it was a blue but we're seeing purples here it looks like teal um a deeper purple got some white in there um it's really really a great combination here the tones just blend in together really really well so the great thing about it is the pattern is free so i'll just go ahead and get the yarn ordered so we'll get that added to the card get that ordered and then though i want to take a look at this this pattern because they they got a cool color effect going throughout it so let's take a look at that okay let's see we got Bind off. So let's go ahead and get the yarn ordered, real. the so umbrella, like and the really winder. Basic. And we'll be back in a second. Uh, stitch. See, stitch in there. Not too complicated. It looks like, though, where the complication may come in at, and, and it's, it might not even be considered a complication, it might be just a little bit tedious, it's the method in which you get the colors to pull, because I see it saying in here that it's a, a, a color pooling method, so, hmm, we'll see. Either way, I want it. I want it. Okay, and one thing I'm noticing, it's it's a hank of yarn. So if we go back here and look. So when, you, when you're using a hank of yarn and you're trying to actually work a project, it's easier to put it in a, a ball more so than try to pull from here. If you try to pull from here, it's just gonna get be messy. We don't want any mess. So I have been looking at getting a ball winder. So this will be the perfect perfect time perfect excuse to get it and the one that I previously picked out but I, I put it in the cart before but I never got it it was called knit picks it was just a ball winder it's a yarn oh here we go you are going to get this added to the list as well See, it's not even a necessity to have a yarn winder because there are other ways to, to wind it and you could still work with the hank but I just I just like that now one thing though or that I that I want is the yarn swift so this just connects to your the side of your table and you're able to feed the hank of yarn you just place the hank of yarn over the little let's call it the expanded umbrella piece and it just allows you to hook the yarn onto the actual yarn winder you just go some people just put it on the back of a chair the hank of yarn um, but this is piece just makes it a little bit more helpful you could get someone to hold it but uh, people aren't always available so i want to get this so this i definitely can add to the cart So that definitely took longer than a second. The items that I ordered from Amazon, those only took approximately two days. But the yarn that I got from Expressions Fiber Arts, that took approximately seven days. So it took a little while. 
Anyway, I'm super duper excited. So let's check out what I've got. So this is the yarn. I saved it to open with you guys. So let's see here. Yeah, it's wrapped up pretty good. Okay. So it comes doubly secure. And let's see. I don't want to rip it in the wrong direction or anything. It's fine. It's not like you can rip yarn. I'm just excited. Oh, goodness. This is even more gorgeous in person. It truly is. I cannot wait to use that color pooling method on this. It's I've never heard of it, um, but it's one of the things that attracted me to the pattern. So you guys, this is like silky, silky soft. Like I said, it's a fingering yarn. Um, I think the pattern calls for like a five, a size five US needle. I, can, I cannot wait. I'm definitely going to show you all the cow that I end up making from this. So yeah, this is awesome. And all you need is this, this, this one bit, this little bit, it don't, doesn't require several balls or anything like that. So again, I can't wait to show you guys the outcome of the cow. Let's take a look at what else I got. Got our Knit Picks Ball Winder. So let's open it on up. It was so hard to not open this up like while I was waiting um, on the other uh, on the other pieces of yarn. Okay. So it comes in a couple of different pieces. Now in my next video, I am going to go ahead and show you guys how I use this or how to use this. I absolutely love it because it's purple. It is. It's like a mauve color and a purple. So I'm sure this is not complicated to use. Like I said, I, I've been wanting one. I just never had an excuse to get one, but I have one now. So let's set that aside. Oh, and then the yarn swift. I kept calling it an umbrella, but it's a yarn swift. If we want to use proper terminology. So it's actually much bigger than I was expecting it to be. Ooh. Okay, yeah. We're gonna definitely have to get a different angle when I show you guys how I use this. And then it comes with a, a couple of pieces. So I assume these are to help screw it to the table and get the right tension and all that good stuff. So, like I said, in the next video, we are going to actually wind our hank of yarn by using all three, well, not all three, by using the two products, the tools. And um, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the section below. I will definitely respond to you. And be sure and go ahead to subscribe to Portia Stitch Story. Just click on the subscribe button right now, right below this video. Until next time, bye-bye.